Um, certainly during the boom years I was contacted regularly by people thinking of buying here and you know just double checking whether they thought the price was okay. Uh, in many cases I told them I thought the price was high. Well, uh, things were going well until 2007, end of 2007, 2008 when, when, the, when the market crashed. Uh, if a property was put on the, uh, on the, on the market, uh, it had a Hungarian price. The second price was a foreign price and the third price was definitely the Irish price. It's a busy city, Budapest, with almost two million people. Beautiful apartments at cheap prices attracted thousands of Irish buyers during the Celtic Tiger. But like Ireland, Hungary's property market has suffered too. Well, uh, things were going well until 2007, end of 2007, 2008, when, when, the, when the market crashed. Uh, and the banks start, stopped lending. Uh, <coughs> many people uh, obtained their loans in, in different currencies in, in Hungary. Uh, that resulting uh, 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 the mortgage payments went up, so many people were forced out of their homes, and that would uh, make a make a supply uh, oversupply of properties in the market impact have impact on the prices. <clears throat> so uh, since then, prices were going down, and now in 2013, the price is pretty much in the same when it were in 2003. So 10 years passed with no increase in, in prices. Now I'm here in Octagon Square which is in the Pest side of Budapest and lots of people bought properties here from Ireland. Now on average the Irish spent about €100,000 per apartment, obviously some more and some less. That same apartment is now worth €70,000, a drop of about 30%. Documents relating to Irish people's properties cover Rosa Collar's desk. She is a lawyer in Budapest who looks after hundreds of Irish clients. In, in the everyday language uh, on the property market, it was a very well-known sentence that there are three prices on the property market. Uh, if a property was put on the, uh, on the, on the market, uh, it had a Hungarian price, which was, of course, uh, the closest price to the real price. Uh, the second price was a foreign price, so if someone from abroad uh, is interested in the property, and the third price was definitely the Irish price. Uh, if the seller or the property agent uh, learned that the potential buyer is an Irish person, they immediately increased the price to 20, 30 percent or even more uh, because their experience was that generally Irish don't bargain, they don't want a cheaper price, they are even happy about that price which is already 30, 40 percent more. Dublin man Jared Lucy drives home along the Danube River. He knows it well, having lived in Budapest for 17 years. Now he's married to a Hungarian woman and dad to three boys. Um, certainly during the boom years I was contacted regularly by people thinking of buying here and you know just double checking whether they thought the price was okay. Uh, in many cases I told them I thought the price was high. Jared owns a rental property and he's noticed a change. Um, re rental rates have dropped over the last four or five years is one thing I th that I've found anyway is there's, there's a, lot, a lot of supply on the market and somewhat less demand for the, especially for the type of properties that many people, uh, foreigners bought and were renting out because there's been something of a reduction of the amount of foreigners living here. For those at home, Rosa has this advice. If someone is not under the pressure of making money somehow, I think it's still a good investment to have a property in Budapest. This is a beautiful city. Uh, here, a property was always a valuable uh, asset, so it's worth to keep. Things will turn better, definitely. So we are, we are in, a, in, in a hole right now, so we just can come out from this hole. So these properties will be more valuable. Of course, nobody can say in what time.